Hello, my lovely friends. So if you've been following along, you know that we have a new dormer at the house. Super exciting. And we are working on building the two rooms that are underneath the dormer, the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom, and the closet. And boy, oh boy, things are exciting. So let's see what we can get into this afternoon. So do we have to have this on all? No. It's just where just, the just, things just are going up to yeah. meet. Yeah. So be this and this one and one more over here. So for the um like for the sheetrock, is this good to staple to nail it into or do you need I think strapping? I'm gonna strap it because it's I I like the sixteen, I don't like the right. twenty. So the strapping is underneath that. Yes, yes. in a big one this way. Okay. That is such a nice size closet. Huh? That's a really nice size closet. You like that? Yeah, that's that's big. Yeah, you you have quite a bit of room both sides. Yeah. And it'll be nice in the middle where this is to have shelves or something. Mm -hmm. And then you could still have shelves on top of the hanging clothes also. Yes. Yep. That's awesome. I think in my closet I did I did two rows. I did a, a, a row of a bar down here and a bar up here so you can hang Yes, it. that's what I'm planning on doing on one side one and then side. one side do it all the way for dresses. Because yeah. you probably don't have very many dresses to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is pretty close to centered. Uh -huh. This is pretty close to centered. There's 34 yeah. inches and 33 inches. Yeah, I, I, I knew it was coming out pretty close. Because I had no idea <laughs> where it was going to be. Do you want to switch ladders? Do you want to switch ladders? No, I'm, I'm just going to put a few screws after we get it up here. Okay. Get a couple of these in there. There. 
got a little bit trickier on these boards going up for the hallway wall because the bottom had to be straight because of the flat floor, but the top was the angled ceiling wall. So we had to do an angle on the side, which we used a little template piece of wood, and then on the bottom we used just the straight cut. Yes, right there. So I'm not actually moving this thing, I'm just moving the board to be. Right. does is supposed to move so it it's supposed to what it turns somehow yes, right yes it does you, 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 you can do a bevel that way with that gotcha we could we, we could uh well, i mean it's not a big deal but yeah, just... we might as well put it that way so that way because when we're doing all these cuts and we won't have to you know really it, right, right. <laughs> there's only going to be like a couple of them. Uh, yeah, there's only going to be, yeah, there ain't going to be that many. Oh, well, we may double it. We're going to have to do, once we get the door here, the pocket door, it's going to be, there's going to be something over it, and then you're yes. going to have to do it on top, right? Yeah.
Yeah, I do think that's the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm put the put the label on that and see what you get. Yeah, when there are things that we probably need long ones for, we yeah. still use it for those. And okay, so Jay and I are calling it quits for today. We need more two by fours, as always. Seems like a recurring theme. It's crazy how much lumber you go through when you're doing this stuff. <laughs> it's a lot. So we need to keep. We have these walls to stud. Um, on this side of the bathroom. A couple more there. This is going to be a pocket door, like we've mentioned. But the closet here isn't going to really have studs on this side because this is all going to be door. We're going to have to put a couple on the two ends and build this little cubby from the bathroom side, cubby, and then part of the closet. So I feel like that will be really a lot more clear once we actually get it built. But really exciting. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the bathroom. Um, I have some ideas and some things that I've decided which I don't think I've told you yet. So first of all the shower which is going to be right behind me um, with this beautiful humongous window. I'm so excited. Um, so it's gonna be 30 by 60. Last time we spoke I believe I was leaning towards or considering a glass half wall but I've changed my mind. First of all, I'm going to show you the design of the bathroom in case you forgot. So this is what the bathroom is going to look like, give or take. So this is the little um, closet thing that I was telling you guys about, which is going to be just shelves that I'm going to have towels in, etc. And on the bottom, I would like to have my laundry basket that can slide into this little cubby. I've got a little radiator here and then the shower in the back, the toilet, and the small vanity. So with the shower, a lot of people said that it is hard to keep glass clean for shower walls. And I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm a dirty person per se. I keep things very, very tidy, but I don't necessarily clean all the time. So for me, it's very important to have things that look like clean even if they're not. <laughs> and from what I hear, glass is not one of those things. So I've talked to a couple people who have this kind of bathroom situation and they said that they really liked it and that is a half wall or a partial wall made out of like tile or whatever. Um, so it would be, you know, about yay high or whatever and then it would go to here and then you'd have the walk into the shower. Another neat thing that I want to do is, so the shower is going to come out of here or here, whatever, blah, 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 this side, but you're walking in on this side and I want to have the handle to turn it on and off on this side. Brilliant, right? That way you're not getting wet, cold water, trying to turn on the water, hitting you, all that stuff. So that's what I'm thinking. But for the half wall, just kind of have it and then like walk in and have like a lip on the bottom so that it's not getting wet everywhere. The people that I know who have that kind of shower have given me great reviews and I'm very excited about that. I think it's going to look really nice. I'll see if I can find a picture in case you aren't picturing it in your mind. So that is my plan for the shower layout. But one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, because I'm very curious if ever, anyone has ever heard of this and or used this, it's something I found on the internet. Okay, so it's called micro cement. Have you guys ever heard of that? Yeah, I hadn't either. But I found it on the internet and I looked at it and I was like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Now you might think I'm weird, but like, what I think is just so beautiful is like just like clean clean lines and uh, I don't know okay so let me show you some pictures of what I'm talking about basically it is this cement 
of some sort that you would like put on, you kind of like put it on like you would um, cement, I don't know. I need to look more into it, of course. So I've done quite a lot of research about it, but it's still kind of like a scary thing. Um, people have said that it's really good because, so it's it's kind of water resistant on its own, but then you put like a waterproofing coat on it, and it's, so it's like all waterproof. And they've said that it's so easy to clean. Like the soap scum and stuff just kind of like rolls right off of it, and it's just like really, really easy. And it doesn't look like, it's nice because it doesn't look perfect and that's like intentional so it's kind of like you know it makes me think of like the Greek islands like that kind of look and that is just absolutely stunning to me so from what I've read it's like fairly affordable compared to you know other things and you can actually do like you can do your ceilings your walls you can even like do floors like people do you can do the entire room in it and it comes in like a whole bunch of different colors I would probably do white or white ish um but i don't know it just looks so absolutely stunning to me and i know some people you know don't like this style or whatever but whatever i just would like to know if anyone has any experience with it good or bad please let me know in the comments below or if you've even heard of it i've never heard of it but i know the pictures and the blogs of people doing it diy you know they just look so beautiful and the blogs that I've read about it, you know, people had really good experiences with it. So, yeah, that is definitely something that I'm considering for the bathroom. If I don't do that, like the shower, I will probably be tiling it, you know. Um, and that's another thing is that people say, you know, with tile you have all the grout lines, they have to keep clean and stuff. But with this micro cement, you know, it's so, so easy to clean. There are no grout lines. It's just, I don't know. It seems like a really good thing to me but I don't want to get my hopes up or whatever because like I said I don't know but of course I haven't made any decisions I would just love to know what you guys think about that if you think it's a good idea or if you have um any experience with it because my goodness it is so beautiful to me but anyway speaking of beautiful to me this whole room so stunning so exciting so wonderful. So as always, I will keep you updated on the exciting things going on here at the house um, as we continue the studying of the upstairs bathroom and closet. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. I will see you guys next time on our Drill in a Dream.